Hello and welcome to Flames TV. I'm your host, Steve Allred. Let's continue now with part two of our interview with NHRA Pro Stock star, Tom Hammonds. You were, uh, you're a legend in pro professional basketball. Has, did anything about that, that career help you, prepare you, or does it help you now in your you know, so much of so much of drag racing is a mental game. Is is there any comparison between the two? I, I think there are comparisons. Uh, I, I think I've, I've competed at the highest level in professional sports in the NBA, and now I'm competing in the highest level in professional sports in the NHRA. And I think I take uh, the fact that they're both so competitive, and and I, and I'm an extremely competitive person. Uh, that they definitely correlate. I, I think I know how to prepare myself for a big game. I think I know how to prepare myself for a big race. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, and not only that, but they're two team-oriented sports. I mean, I I, re I rely heavily on five guys in order to, to play basketball in order for us to have a chance to win in ball games. It's the same thing with our drag race team. Leonard Davis and Mike Staber and Joe Pena, uh, uh, Jim Oliver, all those guys that, that are behind the scenes that we have to do our jobs in order for us to have a chance to win in races. So uh, they're both team, two team-oriented sports, and uh, they're both very, very competitive. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things I admire most about you is is your uh, the Tom Hammonds Race for Achievement program. Can you can you give right. us a brief summary of that? That's just a fantastic program. Well, that, that's something that we started uh, actually started it this year. It's, it's actually called the Tom Hammonds Race for Achievement. Uh, and, and it's basically generated because, you know, I, the God has blessed me to be in a situation where I play basketball and, 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 and have a chance to drag race. Uh, if I didn't have a chance to play basketball, it would be tough for me to come out here and start this team financially because I couldn't do it. There are a lot of people, a lot of minorities, a lot of people in general that would love to be involved in sports, professional motorsports, that would never ever get the opportunity because either financially or whatever, uh, they just don't have the means to do it. Uh, and, and I don't, I don't, I want to be in a situation where we can help these kids follow their dreams. Uh, and and, be, and maybe it's not drag racing, maybe it's NASCAR, maybe it's not a driver, maybe it's a crew chief, or maybe it's in administration, or or maybe it's how to run a team and manage a team. But at least give these kids an opportunity to follow their dream and. and uh, and to get a chance to do what they want to do in life is, is what this program is all about. Right, right. I think it's great that you're doing that because, you know, you're you're in a position where where you're a larger than life hero to them. Um, when you were a kid in their position, did you have heroes like you are to them now? I, I had heroes, uh, and kind of going back to the Race for Achievement program, this is the very first race. Obviously, Indy is the biggest race of the year for us. Yeah. We have our car wrapped in the Tom Hammonds Race for Achievement uh, colors for this Indy race. Great. So we're excited about it. We're really excited about that, and uh, uh, hopefully we can get some exposure for our program. But going back to my heroes, I think one of my biggest heroes was my grandfather. Mm -hmm. uh, on, the dra on the drag racing circuit, it was guys like uh, – uh, Lee Shepard and uh, Bob Glidden and Warren Johnson and, and those type of guys that I, I really try to emulate, try to be like. But, but my real hero was my grandfather. He really taught me the importance of working hard for what you believe in and never giving up. Right. Do you? Uh, where do you stand for 2009? Do you? Are you? Do you have any firm plans yet? Uh, we don't have any firm plans yet. We've got some things that we have in the works. Uh, hopefully, specifically designed around our team and our program, our Race for Achievement program. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to continue to keep working hard. Uh, I think we've got a tremendous program with our Race for Achievement that somebody can be involved in that that uh, that would only that would really help get back to the kids and, and uh, uh, back to uh, the, back to the community. So uh, I, I think it's just a matter of time before somebody, the right partner, comes on board. I've had the opportunity to be involved with uh, alcohol, but that's not my message. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the message that I want to relate to the kids when I go to speak to them at the, at the middle schools and the high schools. I don't want to have an alcohol beverage on our race team and our race car. So I've, I've, I've turned down those opportunities, uh, but I, I believe the right partner will come. Well, you've got so much to bring to the table. I, you know, I just have high confidence that you'll that you that you will uh, be able to get the funding you need. 
last Thank question. You very much. Last question, kind of for me as a personal one. You used to have about the baddest '69 Camaro on the planet. Do you, do you still have that car? Oh, you know what? I kick myself every time I think about it. Ooh. I think you had to bring that up. <laughs> But I, oh. actually, I sold that 69 Camaro to get involved in pro stock. So uh, it, I, it was kind of like a means to an end for me. I, I had I still I sold the car to get involved in pro stock. and uh, But but that's kind of how everything started. Yeah, okay. Okay. I was just uh, wondering if you, uh, you know, still had it and, and if you might have wanted to sell it. But whatever. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a 70 Camaro that I drive around drive around a little bit, but I think I'm going to hold on to that one. Uh, anything else you'd like to say to all, to all your fans before uh, before we close? No, this is just an outstanding opportunity for me to get out, and I appreciate you having me on this program. I mean, I, uh, having, the, having the, the fans to get a chance to know about – uh, myself personally and, and, and how I got started in the sport and, and what we're doing now as far as our Race for Achievement program. I just thank you for the opportunity to be able to share with that. Absolutely, absolutely. I uh, hope you'll come back and visit us often. Um, and Anytime. I'd love to. Thank you so much for joining us today. Tom Hammonds, ladies and gentlemen.